so my dear students in the previous uh, online classes i have discussed for you uh, there are a lot of rules from the uh, right form of the verbs so uh, i have i have discussed almost uh, 20 rules from the right form of verbs in the previous classes i hope you have enjoyed uh, very much uh, so uh, today i am back here online uh, to discuss about uh, two rules uh, for this class so let's start so the rule number 21 if there are two verbs in a simple sentence so i think you you uh, know what is simple sentence so if you don't know what is simple sentence i uh, just uh, try to uh, watch my previous classes about uh, different types of sentence so the rules 21 is if there are two verbs in a simple sentence we will we will add ing we will add ing with the second verb so the two verbs in the simple sentence the second uh, verb we can we will add ing with the second verb or we will add to before the second verb so if the second verb sense may purpose or aim or uh, something like that uddeshyo then we can use a uh, to infinitive to so for your better understanding we will again uh read the rules again so if there are two verbs in a simple sentence we will add ing in the second verb and or we will add to before the second verb let's uh, see an example for your better understanding i saw him go so look at the first verb that is saw and the second verb go so uh, there is no change in the first verb but uh, you can use you can you should change the second verb so the second verb should be uh, ing we will add uh, ing with the second verb or uh, to before the second verb so here we can uh, write we can write the correct answer i saw him going so the correct answer will be going so let's see the another example he is going to market a gap and in the bracket in the bracket there is the another verb that is buy a shirt so what will be the correct answer in the gap so you can write in this way he is going to market so we will add to before the uh, before the second verb to buy right a shirt so anyway my dear students and uh, let's go the second rules rule number 22 so the rule number 22 is if the verbs there are a lot of verbs uh, if the verbs have had has get got have had has get got are used as positive verb in a sentence so what is positive verb do you know what is positive verb i think you know what is positive verb because you have already enjoyed my previous class on positive verb so if you don't know what is positive verb just try to find out my previous class on positive verb and learn so if the verbs have has had get got you are used as positive verb in a sentence then the second verb or the verb of the brackets will be past participle will be past participle so uh, let's see an example i got the room decorate so look at the verb of the bracket decorate decorate so uh, look at the verb the first verb got so i got the room so 
this is the example of causative verb. The verb got is used here causative verb. So the second verb, what will be the second verb? The second verb will be the past participle form. So the past participle form of the verb decorate is decorated. So the right answer will be I got the room decorated. So my dear students, uh, this is the class for today. I hope you have enjoyed my class very much. If you have any questions uh, about these two rules or or some questions, if you have some questions uh, about my previous classes, just put a comment below the video. I will try to answer your question in my next of my class. Uh, thank you so much.